Hey everybody and welcome back. It's Dal here for DJ Tech and Hardware and welcome to part three of Project Mini Validus, which is a mini ITX build in the NKSM1. Now today, we're gonna to be painting a couple of heat sinks on this motherboard. If you've watched part one, you'll know that the motherboard is Nasus Z97i Plus, which has a couple of gold sort of accents on it, which we wanna get rid of today. So this build's gonna mostly be black and white, so we just wanna match those heat sinks to suit that black and white theme. So what we'll do is I'll shut this machine down, we'll pop them off, and then I'll just show you some footage as we go through and paint, and we'll get it back together, and we'll check it out what it looks like. So sit tight, and let's get into it. Cheers. All right, everyone, so we've got the board off the test bench and all the major components off. Um, you can see the lap processor there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you go back and check out part two. But basically, what we're gonna be doing in this part is painting two of the heat sinks. So this one up the top, and then this one down the bottom. So they're definitely that sort of gold and brassy sort of color, uh, which we wanna get rid of. So I think with this heat sink being black underneath, we'll keep that, separate this top part, paint that white, and then we'll paint this completely black, and then we'll use a vinyl um, to dress that up a bit. So just having a quick look at this one, um, this one just looks like it's got a couple of plastic pins that push through, so you'll just need a set of flat pliers to help get them out. And this one looks like it's screwed into the bottom. The whole unit should come out, and then a couple more screws to pull that out. All right, now rather than bore you with a, a long drag out video, I just decided to high speed this so I should be able to cover off mostly of what's going on. So there's a couple of push pins on the back, like I mentioned before. Um, so you just need to line these up with a, a flat set of pliers and you should just be able to squeeze them and pull them out and come out fairly easy. I'll give you a, a better picture of what they actually look like and you'll understand what I mean. But they just tension the heat sink down with a set of springs. Um, that particular heat sink I'd, probably doesn't do too much at all, to be honest. Um, now we work over to the power delivery uh, heatsink. There's just a couple of screws on the bottom, like you can see there. And then there's a couple more screws um, on the bottom. It's a two-part heatsink. And then these couple of screws that I'm taking off here uh, just separate that brassy coloured unit. And we're just popping those aside to keep them safe. So um, that should um, paint up really easily. Now I just decide to pull the push pins out. Um, of the smaller heat sink just to make it a little bit easier for painting. So this is my ghetto painting booth basically. If you've got a large cardboard box it works great. Just set it up on its side and then you can spray into it and you don't need to worry about getting paint anywhere. So uh, my, my approach here is just lots of light coats. Um, unfortunately the paint that I was using here is probably a little bit old um, it's been in the garage, so it's seen um, some significant temperature changes, so it's probably not the best, but um, it, it worked all right in the end. But if you can, use, use fresh paint or at least paint that's been stored uh, properly. But yeah, the main focus here is just use light coats. It doesn't matter if you have to paint it 20 times, you'll probably get a better finish than if you do it just three times with three heavy coats. So just take your time, you know, if you've got a nice day, enjoy the outside or, you know, just give them a spray and then go and do something else for a little while. I was going to mask off the um, this smaller heatsink to just paint the top, but. In the end, I think it's probably not worth it. It would be fine just if it's all black. So um, I, I didn't bother masking it in the end. And um, here I'm just hitting it with some black paint. All right, guys, so welcome back. Here we've got the two heat sinks that we've painted. This one black, this one white. Um, it looks like the paint that I've used is probably a little bit old, so it's quite textured, which um, is probably all right for now. It, it's gonna be so hidden anyway. It was just sort of to take the harshness out of that gold color. Um, so it's probably all right, but it was not too much to redo if I wanted to, and maybe some wet dry would sort it out in another coat. But I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now, so we'll just pop it all back together. I've popped a little bit of thermal compound on the, um, on the chipset here, so let's just 
uh, get this back together, shall we? So this goes on here like this, and it's just those push pins again. So this should be really, really simple. So we'll just line it up. Hopefully, it won't take your view too much. And again, let's just speed up the um, refitting of these heatsinks. So um, a smart move here would have been to put the push pins through the heatsink first before taking them to the motherboard. But do as I do, uh, do as I say, don't do as I do. Um, on the CPU there that I was just pointing at, you can see um, there's some dark marks around the, the edging of the um, CPU. That's just because because we've lapped it, it's sort of oxidising a little bit. Um, it was nothing to worry about just before I um, reapplied the thermal compound. I, I just gave it a light emery uh, and it come off just fine, so there's nothing to worry about there. Uh, this heat sink was just basically um, to refit, just the exact opposite that it was for removal. And um, yeah, nice and easy. So there you are. Just a quick mod to tidy this up a little bit and fit in with the color scheme of this bit, and then we're all done. But thanks for tuning in. In the next episode, what we're going to do is some custom sleeving and cabling and actually start getting this into the end case. So make sure you hang around for that. All right, guys, that pretty much sums up this part for the Mini Bullets build. Um, we're painting the heat sinks. Now, I may have made reference to some custom vinyls or stickers that I was going to do. Um, I've decided not to include that in this video because I think it's something that you guys will really enjoy a dedicated video to. So um, I, I've managed to pick myself up um, one of these. I've been looking for a long time. Um, so I found one of these second hand, which I'm really excited about. Um, basically, it lets you design and cut custom stickers or vinyls. Um, so that's going to be in the next episode. Um, I also have a side project I'll be starting, which you'll see soon. If you've been paying attention, you'll, you'll notice these 3 d parts um, on my desk. Now, these are 3D printed parts that, that are for that. If you, if you can figure out what them what those are for, then, then good on you. You're doing really well. But that, that'll all be revealed um, really soon. Um, I, I guess I just want to take the opportunity to say thanks uh, for tuning in. You know, um, I've had a really good response to the videos. It's nothing that I ever expected. And um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope you enjoy um, seeing the project that I'm working on because I really enjoy making them. Um, and as a little bonus, I guess I'll just show you the PC and um, how it's running um, because it may not be clear how I'm, how I'm running uh, sort of this when we're not even built into the case yet so um, I'll just I'll just finish up with that but yeah again I, I can't thank you guys enough and, and I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to uh, sharing the next video with you but thanks guys